going on guys welcome to MK Outdoors I'm Mike and there's Kaylee over there we are back in uh, back in the bay in Ocean County New Jersey we're clamming and I think I just felt another one I think I felt another one we got seven clams so far it's too small empty shell Yeah, it's a little chilly today, but you get used to it. So, we hope everybody's having a good weekend. Memorial Day weekend, it's Friday. And we have the whole area to ourselves. If you guys could see this, there's nobody here. There's a couple boats, people over there. It's just empty, it's awesome. It's a little cloudy, it started off sunny. Uh, but it's it's a beautiful day nonetheless. We have the whole bay to ourselves right here. We got about seven or eight clams already, and and I think I feel one. Okay, I think I feel one. Let's see here. If it is, it's a big one. Oh, it just fell. I just I saw. saw it. I saw it. I saw it fall. I think that's it right here. There it is. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Okay. Guys, I feel one. You feel one? Yeah. Let me put this in the bag. The, let me get this too far. Yeah. I can't do it with the tube. Here, here. Hold it. I see a shell. Is it just a shell or is it? Know. Watch out. There it is right there. Right there. Yeah, it's a shell. Hi right, guys. So we are uh, guys, we're clamming. We got so far. Yeah, let me. Look at this big one. Wait, where's the, where's the big, big one? one? There Up it is. There. Right there. Guys, look at that. It's awesome. Hi right, guys. <laughs> All right, stick around, guys. We're having a great time. Uh, I know we just put out a clam video, but we're gonna even if we put out a three, four minute video, just to show you guys, you can see guys clam way off in the distance. This is a cool about the spot which is cool you guys see that boat down there they just come right into the shallows anchor up hop off your boat and dig some clams for dinner you know a lot of times in new jersey gets a bad rap but it's a great state with a, a lot of fun things to do so stick around guys we also uh today's the opening day of flounder season fluke we call it here in the northeast i have a pole set up and ready and now uh, we might do some fluke fishing yeah. stick around Hi right, guys, I'm back. Uh, so I'm reeking and I just felt one. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna be quiet and you could feel right there. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, I heard it. You hear that? Yeah, I heard it. You hear oh, me I scraping? Hear yeah. Okay. So what you wanna do, prop the clam rake on your shoulder for pressure. I heard it. Yeah, I hear it, whoa. All right, and it's right there. Go a little bit above it or in front of it, I mean and get down and bring it up. And there you have it, guys. Can I see? Beautiful Jersey clam. Yep, that's, that's a good one. That's a... That's definitely a keeper. You want to measure it just to be sure? Yeah. I know you like doing that. Yeah. I never even measured it. So, guys, in my last video, um, I mistakenly said I got this on Amazon, which I was looking on Amazon for these, but I just want to give a shout out to a tackle store in Forked River, New Jersey called Creekside Outfitters. This is where I bought that. Oh, yeah. um, we tried clamming a few months back and we just had no luck. It was freezing cold out too, but, um, so I know my last video I said I got this on. They do sell them on Amazon, but I did get this at Creekside Outfitters, Forked River, New Jersey, Ocean County. It's uh, for my New Jersey friends. If you're ever down this way or you're from this way, check out Creekside Outfitters. It's yeah, a great it's store a with uh, great people. We had a young, a young, I don't want to say kid behind the counter, but maybe 18, 19, and he, he couldn't be more helpful. Awesome people. Family owned. Family owned small business. So, all right, we're doing all right, right, Kay? Yeah. Sun's popping in and out. We're still having fun. Uh, we're actually hit a patch of warmer water, which is nice when we first got here. It was, it was a little suspect, <laughs> a little chilly. Let's see what we got. 
see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I say that ten out of two. I dunk You gonna do a dunk underwater? Hey, you're already wet. Just dunk yourself. Uh, do it. Do it. Do it. It's cold, but. Yeah, that was a half dunk. I'll, All right, I'll do a full dunk. All right. That was better. All right, guys, stick around. All right, guys, it's gonna conclude uh, our climbing video. As you can see, the weather turned. It's foggy. It's actually starting to rain. Not too hard. It's uh, just a little misting, but we did good. We got a nice haul. Probably that little, a little over a dozen, maybe 13, 14. Uh, we're actually going to do some fried clams tonight, and I'm going to do a fried clam po' boy sandwich. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put that on video, but we're definitely going to eat good tonight. So we appreciate you sticking around. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody that came into our live stream last night. We had an awesome live stream, three hours, good conversations with some great people. So stick around, guys. We have a lot more salt water action coming up. We got a charter boat trip for striped bass next week, which we're very psyched about. Kaylee's going to hook into a huge striper, right? Yeah. All right, guys, stick around. Thanks for watching MK Outdoors. Kaylee, take it away. Uh, one second. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications so you never miss any of our videos. Peace out, guys. Take care, guys. What's going on, guys? Welcome to our kitchen. Uh, we just got back from clamming in the Barnegat Bay. And we did pretty good today. I think we last counted when I uh, was cleaning the clams, we were at 18 clams. So we did really good. So what we're gonna do now for you is we are gonna make a fried clam po' boy sandwich. So look what we got here for the ingredients. So we got a nice crusty French bread right there. We are going to do something a little different. Instead of bread crumbs, we are gonna bread them with crushed Ritz crackers. We also have as a topping, I know on Po', Bo po Boys they do uh, mayonnaise sometimes, but I like a, uh, a remoulade sauce. And this is a Louisiana fish fry product, remoulade sauce. Salt, pepper, fresh tomatoes, fresh sliced pickles, mm. some butter to butter the bread with. You can see here we have our fresh shucked clams, some, fla some flour to dredge. Our egg wash and there they are guys crushed Ritz crackers it gives a little extra buttery uh, goodness to uh, the sandwich so also in the flour and the egg wash I also put some Old Bay seasoning which is awesome for seafood you can't go wrong so stick around we're gonna uh, get the pan nice and hot we're gonna show you what how we uh, dredge the clams and fry them up and we're gonna make an awesome sandwich guys stick around it's my boy Sparky So I'm going to show you how we dredge our clams get to get ready for frying. I got my pan heating up and like I always told you guys, heat your pan first before you put your oil in there. Uh, like I said, the equation is always a hot pan plus cold oil and your foods will not stick. So we're going to get that nice and hot. So we have our fresh shot clams. My hands are clean so uh, your best tools in cooking are your hands. So what we're going to do, dredge it in the flour. A little egg wash, All right? You got your wet hand, you got your dry hand, okay? Slippery little suckers. That one looks like a big one. And yes, I'm behind the camera right here. That was. And here is your perfectly coated clam. Looks good. Try it in flour. Again, the flour was just seasoned with some Old Bay, as was the egg wash into the crushed Ritz crackers. Do two more for you guys for our sandwich. Shake off the excess so it doesn't clump while cooking.
make sure they're nice and coated. Always give it a little pat so the crumbs stick. Let's find another. Here's another. There's a big boy, Katie. That first big one we got. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. That, that is. Wait, let me see how I show. That's a big that boy. One. Look at that. Big boy. Okay. That one's gonna be good. So those are four nice clams for a po' boy. Obviously we're gonna do the rest, but I'm just doing four for you now. Our pan's heating up. We're gonna put our oil in. You want it, you know, not too high, but enough to fry those clams off good. Like I said, guys, this is not a diet recipe. This is comfort food. And you're gonna enjoy this. So stick around, we're gonna wait for our oil to heat up, and then we're gonna fry the clams up and build our sandwich. Stick around, guys. Okay, we're back, guys. So as you can see, my oil's hot. When you drop a little breading, get over there, big case so they can see, and it sizzles, you know it's ready for the clams. So again, anytime you're deep frying or fr frying anything, nice and easy. Drop it away from you. Look at that. You hear that? Fresh clams that Kaylee and I raked up at a bar at Bay, New Jersey. Nice and easy, away from you. Don't be afraid of the pan, don't be afraid of the oil, guys. Nice and easy, right away from you. So those are gonna uh, fry up. I have some butter melting over there, so we're gonna, we're gonna butter the bread. You can see I, I have our sandwich already, our nice French French bread. We're gonna butter both sides, and we're gonna uh, build our awesome sandwich. Listen to that frying. Stick around, guys, we'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, Caleb, zoom in. So these are just about done. Take a look at those beautiful clams. Guys, if you're ever frying clams, there's always going to be some water left in them, so just be careful as far as splatter and grease. So what we're going to do, we're going to build our sandwich now, guys. So I got some butter melting. We have our French bread. And we're going to butter the bread. Make it extra goodness. And now we're ready to build our sandwich, guys. Actually, you know what? We're gonna layer. We have our tomatoes first. Take a look at that. Fresh Jersey tomato. This one's for me. <laughs> now, our beautiful, beautiful clams. We're gonna hit these clams just with a little bit of salt. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. A little bit of lemon juice. Nice fresh shredded lettuce. And here's the key guys. Sliced garlic pickles. Uh, if I nice. did my homework, I love these. did my homework correct. Mm. Pole boys need pickles. So, excuse me, sweetie. I'm just gonna pull out a knife here, and then we're gonna hit them. You could do mayonnaise, you could do tartar sauce. I like remoulade sauce on mine. Look at that. A little bit more, I like, I like to taste the sauce on mine. Same. So guys, there you have it. Fried clam po' boy sandwich. How amazing does that look? Fresh out of Barnegat Bay. These are not fish market clams. Kaylee and I put in the work today. We got poured on, but we still caught uh, 18, right? Yep. We so did. we appreciate it, guys. As always, thanks for sticking by us. This is going to end the video. We hope you try this recipe. It's very easy, as you can see, <laughs> and it is just absolutely delicious. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. So once again, guys, 
Thanks for all the support. Thanks for sticking by us. So we got a lot of great content coming for you. And as always, thank you for watching MK Outdoors. Kaylee? Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss any of our videos. Peace out, guys. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching MK Outdoors, guys. We're going to eat good tonight.